calling for justice. A father trying to support his family gunned down while on the job, and now his family wants answers. It tops our news at 11. Modu Dianye was at work Saturday as he was every day driving for hours for Uber to support his family. When his car crashed near Livernois and Joy, the assumption was that he was drunk until police saw the bullet holes. Let's get right to Mara McDonald. She's live on Detroit's West Side tonight. And Mara, if this was a robbery, Uber drivers, they don't carry cash. And you know what, Kim, you're right. And it's unclear whether the person who did this to him realized that all this person got away with was his phone and they have left his family without a provider, without a protector, and quite frankly, they're scared and they don't know what to do. Modu had come to Detroit from his native Senegal, like all immigrants, hoping for a better life. He was working all the time, no days off. No days off, all the time, any hours, whenever he got a trip. Working for Uber, he was driving Saturday night into Sunday morning when his car crashed here near the intersection of Joy and Livernoy. Police found he'd been shot twice and was dead. Police came to the family's west side home to deliver the news. They asked if we knew somebody called Modu and they saw us the picture. He leaves behind his pregnant wife, Batal, and three children under the age of six. Her English is limited, but spoke to us with some help tonight of a family member. I asked her, does she feel safe, and what and where can she go? She say, I don't have nowhere to go, but I don't feel safe. Back here live, clearly finances are going to be a problem for this family. I asked them, you know, who can they turn to? Had they thought about something like a GoFundMe account? And it's not something they've heard of or they're aware of or they even know what to do. So you have a family with three small children under the age of six and one on the way that truly at this point is at sea. Kim, Devin, back to you. It's just so tough, Mara. And this is the second West African driver who's been shot this month. It is. This is a, an Islamic center, a mosque that caters to the West African population for the most part. They had a meeting tonight. I mean, to say that people are upset about this is an understatement. They don't understand why this happened this weekend. The other driver was from Guinea. He was killed March 6th. He was a cab driver. Um, they're beginning to wonder, you know, is this something or someone who is targeting West Africans or is this a coincidence or, or what is happening here? Back to you. All right, Mara, hopefully somebody will uh, see this story and, yeah. and help them out. We appreciate it.